हेलो गाइस वेलकम एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल जेवियर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल सो हेलो एवरीवन आई इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम सम नंबर 11 दिस इज अ सेकंड पार्ट फ्रॉम एक्सरसाइज 7.1 फॉर द प्रीवियस वन प्लीज चेक द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स द लिंक विल बी देयर सो हियर सम नंबर 11 1 इंक्रीज द नंबर 60 बाय 30% ओके सो एज हियर इंक्रीज्ड बाय 30% सो द न्यू नंबर the new number equal to 60 into remember that now for the increase percentage you have to write down here 100 plus 30 okay for decrease you have to write down 100 minus 30 so as here increase so write down 100 plus 30 and it's always divided by 100 in increase and decrease both case okay so it will be here 60 into 130 by 100 here 0 0 cancel out so 6 into 13 that equal to 78 now number 2 decrease the number 750 by 10% so here the new number equal to as here 750 and decrease mean as i said before that 100 minus the percentage so here 10 and divided by 100 so that equal to 750 into 90 by 100 So zero zero again cancel out. Now seventy five into nine that equal to six seventy five as your answer. Now some number twelve. Here twelve one. What number when increased by fifteen percent becomes two nine nine? Okay. So suppose here the number be x. So x into increased by fifteen percent. That means hundred plus fifteen divided by hundred. That one equal to two nine nine. So here you can write down x equal to two nine nine into hundred by one one five. Okay, two nine nine into hundred by one one five. So as here one one five. So divided by five, it becomes here twenty three. And here hundred by five. That one equal to twenty. Now two nine nine divided by twenty three that one equal to thirteen. So thirteen into two it's twenty six and then zero two six zero is your answer. Next number two on decreasing a number suppose your number x decreasing means hundred minus eighteen divided by hundred that one equal to six ninety seven. So here x equal to six ninety seven into hundred. And as here hundred minus eighteen, so it's eighty two. Clear? So first you divide eighty two hundred by two, so that one equal to forty one, and that one equal to fifty. So as here six ninety seven divided by forty one, and that one equal to seventeen. So here seventeen into fifty, that one equal to eight five zero as your answer. Now next some number. 13 here in sum number 13 mr khanna spent 83% of his salary and saved rupees 1870 calculate his monthly salary okay so as here first let let here the total monthly salary of mr khanna that is rupees x clear now here is spent here is spent 83% so x into 83% That means here 83x by 100. So according to the problem, you can write down x as the salary. Here 83x by 100 is the spending amount. So here x minus this one is the saved amount, and that one is equal to 1870. Okay. So that means here if 100 is the LCM, so 100x minus 83x. That one equal to one eight seven zero. Now here you can write down hundred minus eighty three as seventeen x by hundred. That one equal to one eight seven zero. So next line x equal to one eight seven zero divided by seventeen into hundred. So as here one eight seven zero divided by seventeen, it's become one one zero. So here total amount here eleven thousand. Okay, that means here the monthly salary equal to eleven thousand. Okay, now let's move on to the next problem, sum number 
here 14 in a school 38 percent students are girls so here girls equal to 38 percent if the number of boys okay number of boys that one equal to 1023 find the total strength of the school so as here girls equal 38 percent then definitely percentage of boys equal to what 100 minus 38 so as here 100 minus 38 equal to 62 percent okay so that means you can write down here 62 percent of total student that one equal to 1023 because 62 percent is the percentage of boys and here the number of boys equal to 1023 then 1 percent of total student equal to 1023 divided by 62 and 100 percent means total strength so 100 percent of total student equal to 1023 by 62 into 100 so as here 1023 divided by 62 that one equal to 16.5 so multiply with 100 1650 so 1650 is the total number of student okay now next one sum number 15 the price of an article increases from 960 okay increases from 960 to 1080 rupees find the percentage increase in the price so first late here x percent is increased that means here 960 into 100 plus x because increased divided by 100 that one equal to 1080 so you can write down here 100 plus x equal to first 1080 then divided by 960 and then into 100 so here 00, 0 cancel out as here 108 okay and here 100 here 96 so it will be here 50 now 96 divided by 2 that one equal to 48 again it's 25 and that one here 24 so now here 108 divided by 24 and that one equal to here 4.5 okay so here x equal to first you have to multiply 4.5 with 25 and that one equal to 112.5 now next subtract 100 so your answer here x equal to 12.5 okay x equal to 12.5 percent that is your answer now next sum number 16 okay so in a straight contest the loser polled 42 percent vote okay good and the lost by 14400 votes find the total number of votes polled if the total number of eligible votes was 1 lakh okay find what percentage of voters did not vote so that means first year given the total number of eligible vote that is 1 lakh okay so here total five zeros now loser polls here loser polled that one equal to 42 percent so definitely you can find out the winner poll and that one equal to 100 minus 42 that one equal to 58 okay 58 percent so loser lost by how many votes 14400 votes that means here you can write down winner minus loser that one equal to here 14400 so here winner percentage is 58 so 58 percent minus 42 percent that one equal to 14400 so that imply you can write down here 16 percent equal to 14400 okay so here let the total number of voter poll that is x okay total number of voter poll that is x so as here 16 percent of x that means x into 16 by 100 that one equal to 14400 so from that one x equal to you can write down 14400 divided by 16 into 100 so here 14400 divided by 16 that is 900 so write down here 9 and how many zeros will be there four zeros okay that means 90,000 okay so here you can write down 
the percentage of voters did not vote okay so here the percentage of the voters did not vote that is here first one thing first you have to find out the number of voters number of voters did not vote that one equal to 1 lakh five zeros minus here 90,000 so that one equal to 10,000 okay so that is the first answer and now you have to convert it into percentage so definitely it will be 10 percent okay 10,000 and 10 percent now next one sum number 17 out of 8,000 candidates okay that means total number of candidates here 8,000 60 percent were boys okay so percentage of boys equal to 60 percent then percentage of girls equal to 40 percent clearly if 80 percent of the boys and 90 percent of the girls passed in the exam find the number of candidates who failed okay so as here 60 percent of boys that means you can easily find out number of boys that one equal to 8000 into 60 by 100 so that one equal to 4800 okay so here number of girls that one equal to 8000 into 40 by 100 so here 3 2 double zero okay so 4800 and 3 2 double zero now here 80 percent of boys passed so here failed percentage failed percentage of boys that one equal to 20 percent because 80 percent pass and fail percentage of girls that one equal to 10 percent so now if you want to find out the number of boys who failed so that one equal to 4800 into 20 percent so here that one equal to 6 9 so 960 and here number of girls that one is 3200 3200 into 10% so that one equal to 320 so total number of boys and girls who failed 08 and here 1280 okay so 1280 is your answer now next number 18 on increasing the price of an article by 16% it becomes 1479 so first let here the percentage sorry first let here the price of that article that is rupees x now increasing 16 percent that means 100 plus 16 by 100 and that one equal to 1479 okay 1479 it's very easy so you can write down here x equal to 1479 into 100 by here 116 okay so here it's 50 and here 116 by 2 that one equal to 58 now as here 1479 if you divide it by 58 and that one equal to here 25.5 so now multiply 25.5 with 50 and it's here 1275 so 1275 is the original price of that article now next one sum number 19 so here in sum number 19, Prathiva reduced her weight by 15%. If now she weight 59.5 kg, what was her earlier weight? So first let her earlier weight is x kg. So here x kg x into 15% decrease. So 100 minus 15 by 100, that one equal to here 59.5. So that means here x equal to 59.5 into 100 by and as here 100 minus 15 that means 85 so here it's 10 so 0 0 cancel out as here 595 okay 595 divided by 85 you can write down this one as 7 so that means here x equal to 7 into 10 it's 70 kg okay so 70 kg is your answer now the last one some number 20 so guys if you like my video please please share this video and please subscribe my channel because i need your support so here in a cell a shop reduce all its prices by 15 percent okay very good calculate first one here 
द कॉस्ट ऑफ एन आर्टिकल हुई ऑरिजिनली Which was originally price at rupees forty. So original price as rupees forty, and here reduced reduced percentage is fifteen. That means here you can write down hundred minus fifteen by hundred. So now the present price of that article that equal to here eighty five by hundred. So here eighty five by five it's seventeen, and here this one it's two then two so that one equal to thirty four. So 34 is the present price of that article. Okay, now let's move on to the next part. The original price of an article which was sold for rupees 20.40. Okay, rupees 20.40. So first write down here the original price. Okay, here the original price be X. Now here decrease by 15%. That means 100 minus 15 by 100, and that one equal to you can write down 20.40. So it's very easy. X equal to here 20.40. Then here 100 and divided by here 85. Now 20.40 multiply with 100, it becomes 2040 by 85. Okay. So 2040 by 85. That one equal to 24. So the original price of that article that is twenty four. 